what's going on everybody it's ETA Prime back here again today we're going to be taking a look at some PS Vita emulation on the Steam Deck yep that's right we do have a PS Vita emulator it's available for Windows and Linux but it's still pretty early this emulator is known as Vita 3k and I've been messing around with it on my Windows PC for the past couple weeks I'm actually getting some really good performance over there with higher end hardware and since they have a Linux build available, I figured I'd go ahead and see if I could get it up and running on the Steam Deck, and it was actually quite easy. Before we jump into it, I do want to mention that it's still really early for Vita 3K. Compatibility is going to be an issue here, but I was able to get some games to run on the Steam Deck using their Linux build. And once we get into it, you'll see that there's no trickery going on. I'm not streaming anything over here to the Steam Deck. This is legitimately running on the Steam Deck's hardware. So when it comes to Vita 3K, it's the world's first functional PlayStation Vita emulator for sure. I mean, it's definitely a real emulator. And on my higher end systems, I get really decent performance out of it. You can pick this up for Windows or Linux. Obviously, I'm using the Linux version on the Steam Deck. But uh, one of the main things you need to know here is compatibility. It's a bit scarce, and when it comes to PS Vita games, they're also a bit scarce. You know, really good ones. Of course, I love the Vita. There are some really awesome games out there but a lot of the great games aren't playable yet. 284 games on the list here is playable, but this is with a higher end system. I've tested 10 games on the Steam Deck so far from this list, and I was actually only able to get four of them to run. So it's definitely super early here. There are some in-game games here, and you can find out everything about the simulator over on their website. There's definitely some great information here, and you can also head over to their GitHub page, but I would highly recommend checking out the Quick Start Guide if you want to get this up and running. Now, I will have a full tutorial coming up, at least for Windows, in the next few days, so definitely stay tuned to the channel. A lot of these playable games do run really well on higher-end hardware, but since the Steam Deck is a handheld, just like the Vita, I figured we'd test it out here first. Alright, so here we are with the Steam Deck. I'm on the latest stable firmware, and from my side-loaded apps over here, I've got a bunch of emulators installed. I've been messing around a lot with emulation on this thing. And right here, we've got Vita 3K. So this had to be side-loaded on the desktop. I set everything up over there, and I just kind of imported it into my Steam library. And here it is. So let me turn this overlay off real quick. We'll turn it back on when we get into some gaming. But uh, yeah, I mean, it's actually a super simple interface, and I will admit that the interface itself doesn't work out really well with the Steam Deck's controls. We can't use the mouse cursor or anything like that. So it's best suited for desktop mode, but the controls themselves do work with the games with no setup whatsoever. I was actually surprised to see that. So like I mentioned, I've been trying to test out a bunch of games on this unit, and everything that I've been testing is in their playable list. Now I think a lot of this is actually coming down to the AMD drivers because some of these games do get into menu and then they'll crash out when I'm starting a game or as soon as the first cutscene or level loads everything will crash out. I've spent a few hours trying to get some of these games to work but I really do think a lot of this comes down to the AMD GPU driver they're using on the Steam Deck right now. But I was able to get a few of these games to work and let's go ahead and start one up. We're going to go light here with uh, Super Meat Boy, and I completely understand that we can buy this from Steam right now and play it much better than this emulator is going to run it on the Steam Deck. But this is the PS Vita version running on x86 hardware. And I know a lot of people out there have been waiting a long time for a PS Vita emulator. There are some really great games, but like we saw, the compatibility is going to be an issue right now. So there's more games added every single week. Some games are added every day as playable or in-game. So over time, a lot of the stuff will start working much better. But right now, we're a bit limited on the really good Vita games that we can play with Vita 3K. So we do have the option to use the OpenGL or the Vulcan backend, and I found that this game here, Super Meat Boy, does run better with the Vulcan backend. But some other games gave me graphical issues with Vulcan, so I had to swap over to OpenGL and vice versa. I mean, you just kind of got to experiment with it right now. And yeah, like I said, I really do think it comes down to these AMD GPU drivers. Because when I'm running this on my Windows desktop with an NVIDIA card, uh, no matter what I use, OpenGL or Vulkan, I'm actually getting really great performance with a lot of the stuff that I've tested on the Steam Deck. And I'm not getting as many crashes on my Windows PC with that NVIDIA card as I am over here. So yeah, as you can see, the built-in controls are working. I didn't have to do any mapping. I also went through and I tested an Xbox controller over Bluetooth just to see if it would detect it. And right from the menu in Vita 3K, it showed me both controllers and no mapping was needed for the Xbox controller either. So yeah, I mean, the game's working, but it's not quite running at 60 FPS. 
and I've actually tried to up the wattage on the CPU for the Steam Deck, you know, setting the GPU clock to 1600 megahertz and the CPU TDP to 15. It actually seems to slow it down a bit. We're not using much of that GPU right now if you take a look at Mango HUD in the top left hand corner. And since I'm using this in the deck UI mode, we still have access to all of the overlays. We can press that Steam button and exit if we want to. It'll bring us right back into the menu. We can start up a new game from there. But what I'm going to do now is actually move over to the desktop so I can give you a better look at all the settings and everything with Vita 3K. All right, so I've just got this set up on my desktop. I can go right into my Vita folder. You can set this up basically any way you want, but we'll just launch it from here. I've got it set up to execute in terminal. And as you can see, we've got the same interface that we do in the deck UI mode. But with this, we can use the mouse cursor and we can get up to the settings. So there's a lot of debug settings that we can use. And uh, from, you know, just the performance settings, there's really not a lot that we can change right now. Basically, we can change from OpenGL to Vulkan. We can upscale the resolution. We can turn on some filtering, but I'm going to leave it as low as possible and Per game, especially on this unit here, you will have to swap between OpenGL and Vulkan. It really depends on the game. But this was another one that actually ran pretty decently on the Steam Deck, so I'll jump right into a little bit of gameplay here. And obviously, this is no Persona, this is no Ratchet and Clank, but it's still really awesome to see these Vita games being emulated. This was kind of a mobile game that was ported over to the Vita, like a lot of games back in the day. But yeah, it actually runs pretty decently for being so early. Obviously, we've got some graphical issues going on, and right now I'm using the OpenGL backend for this game here. Vulcan would just crash me out. Here's Urban Trial Freestyle with the Vulcan backend, and uh, we get a lot of graphical issues going on here, but as soon as I swap over to OpenGL, it does clear up a bit. Now, it's definitely not perfect, but it does look a lot better, and it runs pretty good too. When I first saw the playable list, one thing that jumped out to me was Street Fighter X Tekken. I've got this on my main Vita. I love this game. Huge fan of Street Fighter, huge fan of Tekken. I personally like this game, and the first time I started it up on the Steam Deck, I got into some gameplay, and it was running at about 28 FPS to 35. It definitely wasn't perfect, and it really wasn't playable, but uh, ever since then, I get a black screen when I get into gameplay, no matter what I do. I've cleared the shader cache, I've tried OpenGL, I've tried Vulkan, and this was one I really wanted to show off. But unfortunately, after I launched it for the second time, I just couldn't get into gameplay with it. But before I wrap this video up, I did want to give you a look at Vita 3K running on my main gaming PC. And this PC consists of an i9-12900K clocked to 5 GHz and an RTX 3080 Ti. I can definitely upscale this emulator on this rig, but I left it at the native res just to see what we were pulling here. And from that CPU, I've seen it jump up to around 60 watts in some cases, which is quite high for a little emulator like this. And on the GPU side of things, we're pulling 30%, but we're only at 210 megahertz, and that's because we're at the native res. So obviously, it does take a little more power to run this emulator at full speed. And even with trials here, we're still working with some graphical glitches. So at the time of making this video, it's far from being the perfect Vita emulator for the Steam Deck, but really when it comes down to it, this is the only option we have. And development on Vita 3K has definitely picked up in recent months. A lot of games have been added to the playable list, and when they say playable, they're not talking about running it on lower end hardware like an Intel Celeron or even this custom APU we have here. As you saw, those playable games aren't so playable yet on the Steam Deck, but with time and more optimizations to the emulator itself, there is a chance that this could turn into a really awesome Vita emulator. But that's going to wrap it up for this one. Really appreciate you watching. Keep an eye on the channel because I will have a full tutorial coming up showing you how to get this up and running on your PC, and it really does transfer over to the Steam Deck. You're really just going to be using the Linux version. But, you know, as soon as more people start using this, more development might happen on it, and we'll get some really great Vita emulation eventually. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below, and like always, thanks for watching.